Hi, in this video we will do some examples in which we will try to uh, check if a vector is linear combinations of other given vectors. Okay, remember what we uh, learned in the theorem that it says if you're trying to check if v, the vector v, is linear combinations of v1, v2, put v1, v2 in columns of uh, the uh, the coefficient matrix of an augmented matrix and put the vector v in the right hand side column then try to solve this thing and see if this is consistent or not it means that the system related to this guy has unique uh, has a has a solution or not okay so we start with this augmented matrix now we want to row reduce this so we get what oh zero here a two here and then one there and then here one one two well this is row echelon form yes and you see that there is no zero row equal to non-zero so it means that it is consistent and it means that v is a linear uh, linear combination of v1 and v2 yes we can confirm that it's true so one can ask well what are the coefficients yes we can find the coefficients by solving the system so this will be two um let me use x for the first one y for the second one so it will be two y is equal to one and x is equal to two minus y here then you can see that y is 1 over 2 and x is going to be 2 minus 1 over 2 which is 3 over 2 and well these are the coefficients so x is the coefficient of you see x we choose to be the per, the variable for the first column so it will be the coefficient of the first um, vector and y is going to be the coefficient of the second Well, in other words, this is easy to see now. 2, 3 is 1 half of V1 plus 3 over 2 times V2. Okay, how about this one? Okay, this is, these are, let's form the augmented matrix. V1 goes to the first column v2 goes to the second column v3 goes to the third column and on the right hand side we have 3 negative 3 1 so the question now translated into the augmented matrix form or system of linear equations says that is this system consistent or not well let's see i can start row reducing and i will get 0 3 what a negative three and then here we have negative six and then one negative one two three is there zero two negative two one well we can do one more step to get this one to one uh, so i multiply the whole row two by one over three just to make our life uh, easier and this gives us 1 negative 1 2 3 0 2 negative 2 and 1 now we can use that um, leading entry to make this guy 0 by uh, multiplying the whole row 2 by negative 2 and adding it to row 3 so we get 0 0 0 here we get uh, 4 plus 
1 is 5, so this is 0, 1, negative 1, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 3. And here you see that, okay, I have a left-hand side 0, right-hand side non-zero. This means that the SLE, the system of linear equation, is not consistent as as the uh, as it goes for the linear combination that means that v is not a linear combination of a vector v1 to v, v3 okay how about this last one okay so again the same form 1 1 negative 1 3 0 2 and 1 2 try to see if this is consistent or not so we do r2 minus r1 this way we get 0 4 2 and then here uh, subtracting which is 1 and this is 1 and negative 1 0 1 now um, this is already yes this is already uh, row echelon form and you can see that this has uh, this is consistent there is there is no non-zero row equal to uh, uh, zero row equal to non-zero so this is consistent and as a result yes this vector is linear combinations of v1 v2 v3 uh, okay, so then what are the coefficients? Well, to, to find the coefficients, we have to solve it. So the coefficient of V1, let's call it X, V2, Y, and V3, Z. Now, based on this guy here, we see that uh, Z is going to be a parameter, whatever number you like. Then uh, 4Y uh, equals to... 1 minus 2z and um, x is going to be 1 plus y so plug in everything here again so this is z is equal to t y is equal to 1 minus 2t over 4 and x is 1 plus that so this will be 5 minus 2t over for what we showed is that okay there are more than one way to write v uh, as linear combinations of v1 up to v3 for example v can be set t equal to zero for example so in this case we get uh, the coefficient of v1 is going to be 5 over 4 v1 coefficient of uh, v2 is 1 over 4 and the coefficient of v3 we, we set z to be 0 so this will be v3 or for example you can set t equal to 1 in that case we will get 3 over 4 v1 plus or minus better to say uh, 1 over 4 v2 plus 1 times v3 and this shows that okay checking if something is linear combination or not is completely different story than in how many ways you can write it yes yeah? so in this case there are more than there are infinitely many ways that we can write v as linear combinations of v1 up to v3 okay so these were examples we are covering the checking if a vector is linear combinations of the other vectors or not